It is currently Monday and this week I'm filming a realistic what I eat in a week video. I'll be showing you exactly what I eat each day Monday through Friday including whether I'm cooking at home, eating leftovers, going out to eat, or having snacks throughout the day. In the past I feel like I really struggled with overeating and not really recognizing my hunger cues. I would mostly just eat because I figured oh it's a certain time of day so I should be eating or there's food in front of me so I need to finish all of it instead of taking a small amount of it home as leftovers. But I think recently I've gotten a lot better with that in terms of eating smaller portions and only eating when I'm hungry. I don't restrict what I eat and I don't count calories but in a sense I have kind of been intermittent fasting just because I don't eat in the morning or until I'm actually hungry in the afternoon. It's currently 4 p.m. on Monday and I haven't eaten yet today, but I'm gonna go make some salsa and have a leftover burrito from a Mexican restaurant that we recently went to. I'll bring you with me while I prepare the salsa that I'm gonna put on the burrito. Right now, I'm going to make salsa. The way I cook is basically just adding ingredients as I go. I don't really measure anything out. I kind of just taste it and add whatever I need more of, so I always end up making a lot of salsa, which works well because then we can just eat it over a couple of weeks. Right here I have 12 Roma tomatoes, a bunch of cilantro, which I'm only going to use half of. I have half of a green pepper, a quarter of a white onion. I have jalapeno pepper slices, garlic powder, chili powder, salt, and pepper. The last thing that I put in is lemon juice. Since I make salsa pretty often, I freeze the onion, green pepper, and cilantro that I'm not using, and I'll just use that in the next batch. So I'll go ahead and put the onion and the green pepper in the blender, and then I'll put half of the cilantro in there too. I feel like making salsa is a great way to add more vegetables into my diet because Mexican food is my favorite type of food. So I'll start by rinsing that off. This other half of the cilantro, I'm gonna put in the freezer. I'm just gonna clean my cutting board because there was some dirt on the cilantro. Now I'm gonna rinse all of these tomatoes and cut them up. These don't need to be cut up very much, but I just cut them into two or three chunks make it easier to fit them in the blender. The tomatoes are all cut up now and look at all of those veggies in the blender. I can't fit anything else in the blender right now, so I'm gonna go ahead and start blending it and then I'll add the rest of the tomatoes in once it's blended a bit. The salsa is really green right now, but that's because I haven't added most of the tomatoes to it yet. So I'm adding the rest of them right now. I feel like I added too much cilantro because I added all of my Roma tomatoes and the salsa is still super green. I do have some cherry tomatoes though, so I might add those to the salsa as well. It's still not really red. I think normally I do a quarter bunch of cilantro. I think that's what went wrong. But that's all the tomatoes that I have right now. So I'll just go ahead and add all the spices and the other ingredients and hopefully it'll taste okay. The salsa is all done. It tastes a little bit different than usual, but I actually like it. It's a little more cilantro heavy than tomato heavy, but once I added the spices and lemon juice and jalapenos, it's tasting good. Now I'm gonna heat up my leftover burrito and I'll put some of the salsa on it and probably have some tortilla chips with the salsa on the side.
Here's my leftover burrito. It has pineapple, shrimp, guacamole, chorizo, beans, cheese, and rice. There's a pretty large amount left over, so I'm probably just gonna have half of this, but I'll heat that up and then add some salsa on top. Here's my burrito with the salsa added, and then I poured the rest of our bag of chips in here, so I'll probably share these chips with my husband and I'll have that with the salsa on the side. I am lactose intolerant, but I still eat dairy all the time, whether that be cheese or ice cream or butter. I just take lactate pills with all of my meals so that I don't get bloated because that's really painful otherwise. It is now Tuesday. I did not eat a lot yesterday. I just had one meal and then I wasn't hungry for the rest of the day after that. But keep in mind that I am a very short, small, petite woman. So how much I should be eating each day might differ a lot from how much you eat and that's okay. Also, my hunger differs from day to day. Some days, like yesterday, I might not eat a lot and then other days I might eat a ton. But it's currently noon and I'm gonna go eat brunch. I'm planning on making myself a yogurt parfait with fruit for that. To start off, I'm gonna put some Greek yogurt in a bowl. Growing up, I used to only use Greek yogurt as sour cream, which I don't know if that's a typical thing to use Greek yogurt for, but that's what my family did. So it's a little strange using it for yogurt parfaits, but it works okay when I add all the fruit, granola, peanut butter, things like that, because I can't taste the yogurt itself that much. And then I'm just gonna keep this spoon in here because I'll use that to eat so that I don't have to get a new one. Next, I've got some berries. I have blueberries and strawberries. So I'm gonna rinse the blueberries off and then I'll cut up some of the strawberries. I'm also gonna cut up a banana. I just rinsed the strawberries, so I'm just taking the stems off and then I'll cut them into smaller pieces. That way I can have more strawberry with each bite instead of having some bites with strawberry and some bites with none. I'm gonna take one of these pieces of banana to give it to my dog because that's his favorite treat. Koda, come here. Good boy. <laughs> Fruit is all in. The only things left are peanut butter and granola. I have this protein peanut butter with chocolate chips in it that's really good. <music> Lastly, I'm adding this granola that has chocolate and hazelnuts in it. And now I'm all done. For dinner tonight, my husband and I went out to eat at Condado, which is a tacos restaurant. To start off, I got a strawberry lemonade to drink. As an appetizer, we got three different dips with tortilla chips. So we got street corn and two different types of queso. One of the quesos had spinach in it, and the other queso had ground beef. It was all really good, but if I had to pick a favorite, I'd probably choose the street corn. I was already pretty full just after the appetizers, but I did get one taco. The taco that I got had beef brisket on it, pickled red onions, and a chipotle creamy sauce. That was delicious. It is currently noon on Wednesday, and I'm just gonna have the other third of my leftover burrito that I also had on Monday. So I'm gonna heat that up right now, and then I'll add some of the salsa that I made on it. It is 
is 8 p.m. now and for dinner I'm just gonna have chicken nuggets and ice cream. Very basic, I know, but it's what I'm craving right now. I'm gonna have the chicken nuggets with mustard. More so than anything, I'm craving the mustard, not the actual chicken nuggets themselves. My husband and I shared these chicken nuggets. He heated up a bunch of them and I had about eight of them. These chocolate fudge ice cream bars are so good. I like that they're small because it helps me portion out how much ice cream I should have as a small snack instead of overeating. It is currently Thursday and it's 1 p.m. I'm pretty hungry now. I'm gonna heat up some stir fry that I cooked for lunch. It has broccoli, mushrooms, chicken, lo mein noodles, and I added soy sauce and garlic powder. It's really tasty, so I'm excited to have that for lunch. <laughs> Hi. I'm still kind of hungry and I'm craving something sweet. So I'm trying to decide which snack I wanna have. I'm between a granola bar, chocolate chip muffin little bites, or a caramel brownie. I kind of wanna have the caramel brownie because I've been wanting to have it, but I just haven't been hungry enough to have it after I eat lately. So I'm gonna see if my husband Adam will split it with me. Adam said yes, so we're going with the brownie. Doesn't that look good? And it's so off too. The brownie smells so good too. That's really good. I might not end up sharing any of this. I did end up sharing half of the brownie with Adam just because I wanted him to know how good it was. Coda really wanted to eat the brownie. He kept jumping up, trying to get it, so I just gave him a slice of banana. We keep frozen banana in our freezer, and that's his favorite snack, so I did give him a piece of that, and I had a piece of frozen banana too. For dinner tonight, Adam and I walked about a mile to a restaurant near us. I love sharing food, especially when we're at restaurants because the portions can be so large. Sometimes Adam and I will just order one entree to split it, but he was really hungry tonight, so we got two entrees to share and we also got dessert. He picked out little burger sliders with fries. So of course I had to get some mustard to have with that. There were four sliders total and I had one of them and some of his fries. I ordered two tacos. I had one of them and Adam had the other. The tacos were so good. They had carnitas, bacon, avocado, sour cream. The tortilla had cheese melted on it and it came with a side of beans and rice. For dessert, we got a very large brownie cookie with vanilla ice cream on top and it was delicious. We ate the entire thing so quickly. It is currently Friday. It's a little bit after 5.30 p.m. right now. I haven't been hungry at all today, probably because I had a big dinner yesterday since we did go out to eat for dinner last night. But I am starting to get hungry now. I'm gonna cook some cheese tortellini with vodka sauce for dinner. We got this pasta from Costco, so there is a lot of it. Adam isn't home tonight, so it'll just be me eating this. So we'll have a lot of leftovers. The water is boiling now, so I'm gonna go ahead and add the pasta noodles in. The pasta only needs two minutes to cook, so it'll be really quick. Vodka sauce is my favorite type of pasta sauce. Adam prefers regular marinara sauce, but I love how creamy vodka sauce is. And since he's not here, I'm going to use the vodka sauce. A lot of times I'll add extra things to my pasta like chicken or vegetables like mushrooms or spinach or peppers. But today I was kind of just craving plain pasta, just cheese tortellini with vodka sauce. So I didn't add anything extra to the pasta, which kind of worked out because we ran out of our chicken and our vegetables. I do need to go buy more. We typically go grocery shopping every Sunday. I think we have enough leftovers and we still have fruit to get us a couple more days before we need to go grocery shopping. That pasta was 
really good, definitely filling. I'm gonna put the rest of it in a couple Tupperware containers. I got a little bit hungry later this evening, so I ended up having Little Bites chocolate chip muffins. I had a pack of that. And then I also had a couple small non-dippers with hummus. So just a little snack for the evening. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that you liked it and found it interesting. Each day obviously looks very different. Some days I'm gonna eat healthier, some days I might eat more or less, but I think it's more important for it to be balanced in the long term versus trying to make sure that each day is the same or each day is balanced. And obviously each week will look different too. Next week I'll be eating completely different things, whether that means cooking at home more, going out to eat again, having lots of leftovers, maybe snacking more throughout the day. So this is just one small snippet in time. But again, thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to see more lifestyle videos from me. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.